welcome to another video with me Spartan086 on model tanks today we're going to do what we could say is a little North Africa video have we've got the Grant or Lee and the Matilda 2 which were very prominent in that campaign then we'll go right to the M3 depending on what kind of turret it was it was either known as the Lee or the Grant if it was an American design turret it was named after Robert Lee. If it was a British design turret, it was named after Ulysses S. Grant. Let's get in there. We'll delve in. Main armament was a 75mm mounted in the hull, which didn't have a very good traverse. And it had a 37mm mounted in the turret. Uh, funky looking tank. If I'm going to go with a bit of history, it looked great. Loved it in the film Sahara with John uh, James Belushi, if you say John Belushi, uh, was great in that. That's what got me loving this tank. Was like, whoa, that's an odd shaped tank. But overall, great. Did well for the Brits in North Africa. Changed a wee bit of the tide from the usual crap that we were throwing at the Germans. But overall, we'll delve into the forces of valor. But fantastic this version. Look at the way that they have done the weathering and. The rustic effect for the desert campaign it looks fantastic. <clears throat> Obviously, you get the cold out guns at the end here, the barrels showing that they've been in action. You've got the weathered effect at the front, especially here. Uh, I love the wee tarps at the side, great for when the crews are stopping, they can bivy back up. Overall, did alright. Great model, enjoyed it. I've got the two of them, but I'm missing the other one. Uh, which has the it's a camouflage scheme to it looks good so if I'm lucky I might be able to pick that up someday hopefully this one didn't do too well as I said most of mine are second hand not everything comes out very well as you can see this isn't getting done in the back cave so I don't have a fortune of money to throw at forces of our tanks on eBay overall this one, I think I got it for a few quid. Didn't realise how bad the turret, 37mm, was broken, which I'll get around to fixing at some point. Came with very little with it. No antennas, no tarp, no nothing. And it came with what I can only describe as a mad-looking Italian modelman, if he is that. Could be American, I don't know. Looked Italian to me, so it was a bit freaky. Overall, Love the models, great wee ones to my collection. Uh, like I say, hopefully get the other one. Maybe get that soon if it goes up. Since everybody's trying to get unload the crap they don't want and get the new ones, uh, I'm going to try and up this collection. So hopefully once I get that done, I'll get the more shelving put in and I'll start getting videos done of the tanks and guns, etc. And where they are. Because I know I don't just have forces of I've also got 21st century and ultimate soldier ones as well as the motorworks and king and country. I'm trying to think of the other one. I've got I'll get a video done about them. Yeah, overall, good wee tanks. Now we get to the Matilda, the pride of the early British Army. The Matilda 2. With its gun, its 40mm gun, which bounced off anything that hit. The main thing about the Matilda was it's the Kama, which the Germans 37mm was bouncing off. Slow tank, didn't have a, a lot of power in it, its power to beat ratio was very poor, but gave the Germans a fight of their life when this thing was pushing through and their anti-tank guns were just pouncing off it, so they had to bring in the big bad boy 88s to knock him out. Overall, this should have been the game changer for Britain to start looking at maybe heavy armour, more powerful engine, better gun. Nope, they still went with crappy gun, terrible engine, and mediocre armour. So, overall, this model, great. Love the pattern, very good. Very similar to the one at Bovington. Um, good rustic effect and weathering along. You can see here with the grease and dirt build up. The plate that's at the side. Um, along here, along the barrel, looks great. Overall, this model is quite impressive. There is two Matildas, again, I'm going to pick this one, the other one up soon, I hope, and uh, add that to my collection. 
Like I said, second hand ones, you don't get a lot with them. No personnel, no antennas, no guns, no nothing. Uh, so maybe be able to get something added to that. Also, I've just noticed there's something missing here. So I'll get a photo from online, find out, and see if I can make a replacement from plastic or resin. And hopefully get that done. So overall, great wee tank. Great wee model as well. It did its job. All three of them. Great wee models, love them. Uh, depending on how you want to look on things, it was the start of a change for Allied Armour against the Germans. Forces of Allah did a good job with these. They're very realistic. Uh, I was down at Bovington and couldn't believe how well they'd done this, so I don't know if Forces of Allah had brought somebody over to Bovey to give it a, a scan, but it looks very similar. Overall good. Anyway, hope everybody's well. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Again, any comments, anything you think that you'd like to see, put it in. If I've got it, I'll do a video and I'll give you a shout out. Hope you're all well. Take care now. Bye bye.